Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Your wish is my command. For some of you guys asked me to check into this show called Adults Adopting Adults. And I watched a couple of episodes. I didn't catch the first one, but hey, it didn't take much for me to get hooked to the show. And I can't wait for the fourth episode. However, there is a rumor going around that A&E might pull this show off the air. And I'm mad. I'm mad. (laughs) Because they knew they got a skis ball in Danny the moment they signed him. His co-workers, everybody knows Danny is a skis. Okay? So I'm sure all the production people knew Danny was a skis, but they saw ratings gold and green dollars. So anyway, my lovelies, there was a tweet by a person who transports truck drivers to the airport. And this tweet seemed to pick up a lot of speed here because Without a Crystal Ball reported it. And Che Cab, the woman who made the tweets, appeared on a show, on the podcast show called Colleen and Bradley. Anyway, let's read some of her tweets. For once, she's talking about, you know, she says this man looks like uh, Ed from 90 Day, but with blonde and a better personality. And she says this truck driver is in his mid-50s and married to a woman he says he loves but has never been sexually attracted to. She says she's going to leave it out there. And it's a sexless and childless marriage. He's been busy. And online trying to find a young woman to adopt as his daughter. Not a child, not a foster, but a young woman. His wife is not on board with this. And the more he talks, the more alarms start going off in my head. And with every term, he confirms each specific alarm. So if you look at this date on these, on these tweets, it's March 6, 16 of 21. So this is way in advance of the show's taping. Anyway, he says that some producers found him online And he signed a contract to be on a series they are producing at a major network. The more he talks, the more I can understand why. His wife is not uncomfortable with him adopting a young woman he found who lives in Greece. I believe it's Austria, but let's just go with Greece because I didn't see the first episode. Okay, so let's move it along. Now, wife is concerned he's going to be attracted is going to be attracted to this young lady. And he has a history of befriending young women. He also had an affair behind her back. So this time he's doing everything in the open and including her, but she's still not on board. I told him that he probably can't do this without her participation and approval, to which he replied, sure I can. This 20-year-old from Greece is six months pregnant with a girl. The trucker explains to me he's never considered adopting a young man, even though plenty have responded to his daddy adoption ads. Now to give you some backstory on this young lady from Europe, uh, I think she uh, aged out of, out of their, you know, foster system. She has no family. So she's out there doing things and wind up gotten pregnant. And uh, I think she wants to go to greener pasture to the United States to, you know, but it didn't turn out so great when she saw Danny and Chris's home filled with containers and cameras everywhere on the outside. And all these, I'm like, why would you need so many containers? Are those where the bodies are? Allegedly? I don't know. Okay, just going on. So anyway, let's move on to Cab's uh, tweets. She so she says a lot of his responses are from people desperate to come into the country and promise everything from don't worry, I eat very little, to X-rated stuff. So this man claims he's not attracted to this girl, but keeps saying yet. So I say, it sounds like you're telling me, telling her you want to be her dad, but deep down, you are keeping the door open for more. He admits I'm right and thanks me for calling him out. He tells me he's also interested in Polly in the purest sense of the word. And the deeper he goes, the more I'm like, this is an adoption. This is 
trafficking. This is Nestor or something. At one point, his wife calls because that day they were actively trying to get this young woman on a plane as soon as possible. And it won't cost them anything if she's here versus there. Plus, she's close to her due date. Wife is concerned that this girl is trying to scam them. At one point, he says to her, I'm not bringing her here to be my love slave. So obviously, wife has concern and he hasn't eased mind one bit. He also tells his wife that this girl can work around the house to earn her keep. There is much more and we'll see how this plays out. But I don't believe he has fatherly adoptive intentions. He also says he likes how she gets permission from him for everything. And that was something I also found odd. I'm sure I'll have an update for you soon. You'll also be able to meet this man on national TV later this year and hear his story from his lips. 616 of 21, that's June 16th. Now, flash forward, we're now into January 22nd, the show is already on the air. The Trucker and His Adult Adoptee, Part 3. I told you this summer of the long interview I had with an Ohio man planning to adopt a pregnant 18-year-old from Greece and how he was going to be on the TV show. I've driven a lot of people and I've heard a lot of things, but my conversation with this man was absolutely chilling. Now, Cap, J. Cap said on the Colleen and Bradley show, that when she transferred um, clients, truckers, it's a two-hour trip to the airport. So she had a long time to talk to Danny. So anyway, she says, this conversation was chilling. I wanted to call the FBI or INS or whoever and say, do not let this girl come to America in the next two weeks. She's in danger. I told you how his wife wasn't on board, rightfully so, and how while on the phone, with her in my car, he told her, don't worry, she'll be locked in a basement and we'll have to earn her keep. His wife was worried he wanted to have a romantic relationship with this woman. He did. I asked him, he confirmed it. So she didn't want the girl in the house. After the ride and after my thread on, I continued to be worried about all the alarming and illegal illegal intentions this trucker had with this young woman he was in the process of adopting from Greece. Over the fall, I did my best to keep tabs on the situation, even checking to see if the TV show had come out. There's some good and some bad news. The bad is that the TV show will air soon and the adoption or at least temporary visa went through and she came to America. The better news is that even the trucker's co-workers' wives and his cousin up the road were also concerned. The trucker's wives told them no longer to associate with their work co-worker and they complied. From what I understand, trucker's wife would not allow the young woman and her newborn baby to live in the house. So the trucker put her in a camper on the property. And as the fall turned to winter with the girl and her baby were cold, so the concerned cousin invited the girl to come live with them. Not surprisingly, once the young lady, Ileana, was no longer rel- reliant on the trucker for food and shelter. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that in there. You can read what I'm laughing about. For food and S shelter, she started to distance herself. The trucker, Danny, was not happy and told her if his needs weren't being met, then she would need to reimburse him for all his costs. And she goes, um, you adopted her and you're responsible for her, for her needs, not the other way around. It sounds like she's out there now, which has given me a great deal of rest on the matter. Now the TV show, how did it get past their legal? From watching the trailers, it's very apparent that it wasn't just in the privacy of their, of the BBR, where he revealed his true intentions and said chilling things. I'll link to some of the videos so you can see for yourself. But you guys know his he's creepy. <laughs> it's so obvious for watching the show. But um, it's interesting that he wants this Ileana girl to repay him. But shouldn't she be repaying the wife? Because I just heard on the, the last episode that the wife took money out of her retirement account. To finance the sick fantasy of her husband that she's contemplating leaving. 
she had already left this man and went back to him and dipped into her retirement to, you know, I guess, I don't know, entertain a cheater's uh, fantasy. Okay? That's crazy. So I don't know if her retirement was all that much money because she's wondering, like, if you quit, I mean, now you stop working for a few days, we don't make any money. So it looks as if they're living paycheck to paycheck, but I think she needs to bounce. Okay? Because I don't know what's in those containers. Why you need so many containers? I'm not talking about Tupperware taint containers, shipping containers, big, 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 big things that are on trains. Okay, what's in there? Why you need so many cameras watching everything outside? All right, my lovelies, I'm going to end it here. We can continue this conversation. If you guys are watching this show, uh, let's go, let's talk about it. If you're not, you, you got to watch uh, this show. It's interesting. All right, you know what you got to do. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already and hit the notification bell because... Uh, that will link you to all will link you to all the tea my lovelies and i'll catch you all on the flip side